Hey, it's Ron. Welcome back to Oblivion. So, just a heads up, I'm going to sound a little bit you nasally. I'm kind instance. of under the weather. Hopefully I'm not getting a cold. I don't think I am, but uh, yeah, going to sound a little bit like this. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Not a whole lot I can do about it. Anyway, last time we checked out our first dungeon, we killed a whole lot of people, and then we made our way here to the Imperial City. And this city is freaking amazing, genuinely. It is big as hell. There's so much to do here, and yes, I have the Better Cities mod on by, I think his name's Banana Split, and I don't know why I remember that guy's name, but apparently I do. So uh, what the Better Cities mod does is, as you can probably tell from the name, it makes the cities better. It's really, really good. It adds more debris and things like that, but also, for example, there's a market district. In the market district, there's an entire upper level of shops that didn't exist before, and there's all, ki you know, there's all kinds of new custom things like there's fish and pumpkins and watermelons and stuff what like that that just now? aren't in the vanilla game. And there's custom paintings and new weapons and armor stores and all types of stuff like that. I love the Better Cities mod. It is so well made. It's ridiculous. And yes, this is the Arena District, and you may have heard of that. This is where if you win the Arena, I'm, in fact, I'm not even going to spoil it, but uh, all I'm going to say is Adoring Fan. And you'll probably know what I'm talking about, yeah, and if you nice. don't... You will see, but uh, yeah, basically there's an arena, you can take it on, you become the champion eventually, and you get some rewards for that. It's kind of awesome. I love it. Anyhow, so the main reason we're here is we're going to sell off all of the booty that we acquired. Of course, it's freaking night time, so all the stores are going to be shut. However, so, so. we're going to make use of that, and we're going to rob some people, because damn it, it's what we do. We're a grave-robbing, murdering son of a bitch. Okay, get out of here, buddy. I'm going to rob the weapon store. I'm not doing anything. Crouching by this locked door. <laughs> okay, it's out of here. God damn it! Ah, uh -huh, perfect. Okay, let's break into this puppy. Now, sometimes the store owner might still be in the store a little bit after it's shut, so uh, you got to be careful. Okay, I don't see them. Usually, I find that they sleep in their stores. Some of them have their own houses, but uh, yeah, some of them sleep in the stores, so you got to be really careful. Usually, they're going to be upstairs, so you don't really want to go up there. We have a steel claymore now. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop the iron claymore, and we'll come back and sell that, if I remember to. But uh, not in my luck, not in my brain anyway, I'll probably forget. Check out that shit. Oh, by the way, I have a custom mod on, I can't remember what the hell it's called, unfortunately, but uh, it makes, I think, the iron, steel, and possibly ebony weapons as well, they look better, basically, because uh, they look kind of shitty in the vanilla game, so that's the reason this sword looks badass as hell. Right, so, if we get caught by a guard, he will take all of our stolen goods of us, so we will lose our claymore, so we cannot afford to get arrested. Plus, you just don't want to get arrested in these games anyway, because it really, really sucks. Now, what I'm going to do, when the store's open in the day, I'll come back and try and, you know, sell the iron claymore. Hopefully no one will pick it up, I don't think they will. I think they only do that in Skyrim, and even then, they don't do it very often. Right, see if we can find anything else to loot around here. Oh, there's barrels. What's in the barrel? Torches. Well, I guess we'll take it. What I'm hoping for mostly is uh, uh, repair hammers, because usually you can find them in the barrels. And unfortunately, most of these were count stealing, so uh, yeah, that's not a good idea. I mean, we can do what we did with the door, which is just crouch down, wait until no one's looking at us and steal them. But uh, that way, if we have stolen repair hammers, it's more shit for them to take if we do get arrested. And we very well may get arrested. There we go. Now, there is some good heavy armor in here. I know you can get either a full set of steel armor if you steal from the right stores, or at least very close to it, but uh, we are using light armor, so it's not going to be that much use to us. I mean, we can still wear, you know, heavy armor, but uh, for now, we're going to go with light just so it will level us up. But when we've leveled up a decent amount, then we'll switch to heavy, because, you know, there's some badass-looking heavy armor in the game, like uh, the Dreadnought armor that I mentioned last time. That's my favorite set of armor, and I'm pretty damn sure it's heavy. Okay, I don't know how much good stuff there's going to be in this chest, but screw it. We will try, and apparently fail miserably. There yeah, we go, okay. What's in the box? Damn it, that would be kind of good stuff to steal if we had a fence to sell it to. But, you know, we don't because we're not in the Thieves' Guild. I think you can join the Thieves' Guild in the Imperial City, so we should probably do that, but, uh, screw it, worry about that later. I can't remember how the hell you do it, but, uh, oh, shit. Well, Hello? Matt. Who the hell are you? What do you want? Well, you're a miserable bitch. Tell me about the Grey Fox. Blasted thief. I hope they string him up when they catch him. He's a slippery one, though. The beggars are his eyes and ears. Okay, I think we have to bribe a beggar to get in the Thieves' Guild. Anyone Maybe. Anyone looking for work should consider the Fighters' Guild. I hear they're always looking for recruits. Okay, then. I will. Thank you. You've been most helpful, even you though did. you're still a miserable bitch. I think the reason she was kind of upset with us is because, if I remember correctly, if you have your weapon drawn when you speak to someone in Oblivion, they get kind of pissed off with you. Anyway, I'm going to kill some time before morning, then we'll go sell some shit. 
Okay, I believe this should be open now. Yes, this? What? <laughs> what are you? Want? Apparently, it's you. So, you were the one I robbed. Gee, I'm sorry about that. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. Okay, so, in this have game, people have a disposition, I'm and sure essentially, if you. they're a shopkeeper, you have to haggle with them, and then, uh, it's hard to explain, but basically, you can either bribe them to get That's up their disposition, or like you that. can uh, do this kind of weird talking dial thing where you you tell them jokes and kind of stupid shit like that. I'm glad they took it out, because it's really crappy, but uh, essentially, it's just easier to bribe them. It puts up their disposition, then the bit of their disposition means the more they like you, basically, and then you can sell them stuff for more. They'll buy stuff, uh, they'll sell stuff to you for less, or they'll give you information for free and that type of thing, so, uh, yeah. Disposition... Kind of a shitty That's addition to this game. Like I'm that. really glad they took that out. But again, you could just bribe them because it sucks trying to do that sort of dialogue wheel because it's really terrible. That's a fair deal. Okay, I think we are done here. Yeah, I saw that some of the Woken you. Stones. I may regret that. I'm pretty damn sure there's a... In fact, it Take might be you. a uh, custom quest mod. I'm not entirely sure, but I seem to remember one of the quests, you need 50 of the bastards. It might be 30, something like that. But again, i got a feeling that might be a mod, and I may not even have that mod installed. I have no idea, but yes. There's plenty of Woken Stones all over the goddamn place. There's a rarer stone called a Vala Stone. Frankly, I don't remember what Vala Stones do, but I think they're good, so... Yeah, Welkin Stones, not really rare. There's tons of them in the Alien Ruins, so if we really need them, we can get them. And holy shit! There was a lot of people around here. This guy looks rich. We should stalk him back to his house. You can do that, by the way. The more wealthy people tend to live in the wealthy districts, so you can usually see by the clothes you can follow them back to their home and then just rob them blind. I kind of love that. Anyway, I believe this should take us outside the Imperial City so we can actually check the map, because I want to see where the hell it is we're going. I believe it's up in the top left. Yeah, you can see right there. Okay, so I'm going to walk there on foot. As always, if something happens along the way, I'll show you. If not, I'll see you when we get there. As we observe the wild deer, boom! Damn, I missed him. Oh, I almost got the other guy. I really have no need to kill these dudes. Oh, yes, I got him. Holy shit! That was the world's greatest shots. But yeah, damn, it's free XP. It's kind of fun. I don't think they drop anything good, but uh, they never did in Skyrim either, so whatever. I got him. Come here, you. Da -da 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 -da. How the hell are you still alive? The other guy died with two fireballs. I call shenanigans. Come here, buddy. Come on. I'm gonna put you out of your damn misery. I think they probably dropped raw venison, which I think you can use for potions, but again, I've never actually done alchemy in Oblivion. We might try this. Yeah. I don't know if we'll succeed, but now we'll try. Oh, God! You scared the crap out of me. Get out of here. Gotta love the physics on this game. Holy shit. Okay, I believe we have arrived. I've kind of been steering clear of a bunch of quest locations that I know are on the map, because we got to do a little bit of the main story just to start here. Just, you know, get our foot in the door, get some equipment, get some levels under our belts. Then when we've got a little bit of that, then we'll start doing some of the more custom quest mods and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, for now, we're going to do a little bit of the main story. Like I say, only a little bit. We're not going to do the whole damn thing in a row or anything too crazy like that. Okay, what's in the barrels? More freaking torches. I should probably take them, but damn it, I've probably got enough for now. Okay, so where exactly are we got? Oh, it's that door that I was right next to. What the hell, brain? What the hell are you doing? Okay, I've got bad news. The Emperor died, and I swear to God, I was not the murderer. I swear to God. Hey, buddy! Date down, buddy. Date down. Yes. Here we go. Can I help you? No. Piss off. My business is private. Indeed. Another mysterious visitor. Well, go ahead. You know what you're looking for. I'll just go back to my reading. Yeah, yeah, you do that, buddy. And next time, don't be so goddamn nosy. Anyway, I believe Joffrey's right over here, and this looks kind of suspicious, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. Remember that. What's up, Joffrey? What the hell are you doing? I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Well, since you're asking, a billion dollars and a whole bunch of attractive naked women. Also, the Emperor sent me to find Emperor you. Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? Look, I was there, and I stripped his corpse, but I swear to God, I didn't shoot the sheriff. You'd better explain yourself. Now. Okay, buddy, jeez, calm down. He gave me the Amulet of Kings. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. Frankly, sir, I don't think I like your tone. Here you go. By the Nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. My get. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? What well, to be honest, he just kind of fell down dead. It, it didn't even look like the guy hit him. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Yeah, totally. Oh, uh, I don't really know what I'd say. Screw it. 
Close shut the jaws of oblivion. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. Well, whoever made the barriers should probably be fired. How the hell can Oblivion threaten us I'm then? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. And responsibility. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. So in other words, no fires, no barrier, oblivion runs wild. Brothers, the emperor sent me to I find his son. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. Kinky! A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne if he yet lives. I really hope that was his son, otherwise that's very disturbing. And where the hell can I find his son? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Okay, I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Or you know a bunch of junk. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Now, a non-greedy person would just take some stuff, you know? Don't be selfish. Me, I'm gonna take every goddamn bit of it, assuming we can carry it. I think there's a whole bunch of shit in here, yeah. There's a lot of stuff. Can we carry all of it, though, is the question. Maybe. It's gonna be the iron that's gonna really wear us down. I think we can just about carry all of it? I'm trying to totally up in my head. Don't be over-encumbered. Yes, okay, let's get the hell out of here. Now, I believe we can also ask the other monks for assistance. Aye. And I kind of want to steal these white mountain groves, even though there's literally no point whatsoever. I don't think they do a damn thing, but they look kind of stylish, quite frankly. Okay, I think... Wait a second, wait a second. I, I think know this that guy you gives are us on something. An important mission for the blades. Please, if you need a horse, take mine from the Priory stables. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it. We can get our first horse from this guy. And as I remember, it's really bad, but screw Go it, I'll take it. Talos's blessings. Do not fail. Don't tell me what to do, you bold son of a bitch. Anyway, yeah, like I say, I think the horse is like really slow, but still, we'll take it, I guess. I'm the shepherd here. Eranor's the name, and this is Waynon Priory. Eranor's the name? Looking creepy as the game. Assistance. Well, I normally stay out of the affairs of the great folk that come through Waynon Priory to see Master Joffrey. But go ahead and take this hammer. A hammer? You might have use of it. And really? I have others. Not One much hammer? Call for smith work around here in any I don't case. think he means a weapon. Well, I think we it means a repair hammer. To do than stand here all day exchanging idle gossip. Good day to you now. You are one cheap son of a bitch. He gave me one repair hammer. <laughs> He's even like, yeah, I've got others, but screw you, buddy. You can't have them. I should murder you for that. I really should. Whatever. I think this is the horse. Yes, it is. Check out how bad the animations are. Oh, God. Okay, I'm stuck. Get out of the way, you cheap bastard. Okay, how do we change camera angle? Where the hell are we going? I think Kovac is just below us. Oh, it's over there. Well, it's kind of right. And yes, by the way, the colored map is also a mod. I believe it's called Elven Map Redux or Elven Redux. Something like that. Anyway, yeah, slowest goddamn horse in history. I'm pretty sure if you have 100 athletics, you can outrun any horse. So, uh, yeah, we should probably go on foot just to level that up. But screw it, we're going to try it at least for now. Because, damn it, we got it. Look how slow it is. It's terrible. It's just terrible. <laughs> a friend of mine was complaining about this game. It's like the animations are really bad and all the characters look silly. I was like, I know. And that's why I love it. It's so goddamn funny. Who the hell is this guy? I don't recognize this. Welcome to Oh, court. God. Keep your what nose happened clean to your face? And we'll be good friends. Make a mistake. And the coral guard will be all over you like a cheap curus. Dude, seriously. You are one monstrous looking son of a bitch. Anyway, give me what directions. Are you looking for? I don't know, but I know what you should be looking for, a plastic surgeon. Not really any of this. Uh, tell me about landmarks. The castle is to the east. 
Inns are near the gate and fountain. Guilds are north by the great oak. This is a great oak? News to me. Shops are near the fountain and up the street west to the chapel. Wayne and Priory is outside the south gate, just past the stables. Oh, I get it. He's talking about coral. Not that we're actually in coral well outside it. This guy okay. is geographically confused and monstrous looking. I'm getting the hell out of here. Okay, we has arrived at Kvetch. What's up, Come buddy? Come on, run while there's still time. The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed. Hey, calm down before I slap you. Run from what? God's blood. You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvetch last night. There were glowing portals outside the walls. Gates to oblivion itself. My God. There was a huge creature, something out of a nightmare came right over the walls, blasting fire that swarmed around it, killing. It came right over the walls, it did. The whole city can't be destroyed, you crazy bastard. Go and see for yourself. Kvatch is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left, do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. Calm down, man, you're getting hysterical. How did you escape? It was Savly and Matthias, some of the other guards. Helped some of us escape. They cut their way out, right through the city gates. Frankly, I wish they hadn't. Savlian says they can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them. If you'd seen it, you'd know. <laughs> I'm getting out I of here this before guy. it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you. Run when you can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit. Get out of here, you little scamp. Jesus Christ, I love that voice actor. That guy's absolutely insane. Like, he was in the moment what? right there. What's up, baby? Are you a merchant? No, you're not. Okay, tell me about uh, Martin. If you mean the priest, I don't think he made it out of the city. Very few of us did. But sadly, Mattias might know more. He's in charge of the city guard that are defending the camp. Well, alrighty then. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Now, Bye. get out of my set. Okay, I'm pretty damn sure there's a merchant around here somewhere. Is I it you? I don't have much. I lost everything. Well, at least they couldn't take your looks away from you, because frankly, you didn't have any in the first place. And yes, she is the merchant. Okay, let's see if we can haggle with her. Probably not unless I, you know, barter and bribe her and whatever else, and I really can't be asked. but uh, screw it, we'll try just not reasonable. No, it's not good enough. See, we can't even raise it that high, because she just doesn't like us, frankly. You can see from the kind of pissed off expression on her face. You drive. I kind of love that. God damn the facial animations on this game. Everything about the characters just looks terrible, and I love that about it. Some people probably hate it. I love it. Yeah, I think it's about all we need to sell here, so we probably don't have to do a colorway. Now we're okay. Yeah, let's get rid of the rest of that crap. Now, what I probably really should have done whilst I was back in the Imperial City was buy Thank an ice you. spell, because, uh, you know, not to spoil anything, but Oblivion kind of got a lot of fire shit going on, so ice is probably quite good against most of the enemies there, but say la vie, screw it, we'll get some ice spells and whatever else later, because I am way too lazy to go back there, even though I can just fast travel. Again, I really don't like doing that until we've been around at least a little bit. Okay, now we have a legitimate steel claymore. There is at least that. Okay, screw the horse, he's slow as hell. Plus, like I say, the more we run around, the more athletic goes up, so we'll go quicker eventually. So, either way, it's kind of worth doing this. I see the fry attack here, stars, all the rage. The Imperial line is dead. The Covenant is broken. The enemy has won. Wow, you're a negative Nancy, aren't you? Tell me about this enemy. Lord Dagon is the enemy. He is the Prince of Destruction, and the Daedra are his servants. The chapel is cast down, and the faithful... My friends, all dead. The enemy has won, and we are destroyed. Well, it's been wonderful talking to you, sir, but uh, frankly, Stop. you are bringing me oh. down with your goddamn negativity, so get out of my sets. Okay, anyway, I guess we'll go up here, we'll check out what's going on, Kvatch. I know what's going on, but you know. And anyway, now I think we'll end it there. Anyway, yes, yeah, so here's the plan. We're going to find out what's going on, Kvatch. Do this, and then when we're done with this section of the story, we'll go to some of the modded quests, and uh, hopefully we'll have some levels by that point, and actually be able to do them. I don't know how hard they are. Some of them are really difficult, some of them are not. It really just depends on, you know, how well the mod maker bounces them, but, uh, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to doing the quest mods, because some of them, like I said, so freaking awesome, it's insane. And yes, the sky is getting red and creepy now. There's a good reason for that. Oh, look, a giant, creepy, glowing pool of doom to oblivion. Yes, that's a thing. Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. 
Get back to the encampment at once. Talk to me like that again, dude, and I'm gonna kick you in the nuts. What happened Lost here? the damn city. That's what happened! Okay, easy, bro. Watch your blood pressure. Too, much. too fast. Too furious? We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel, but others were just run down in the streets. The Count and his men are still holed up in the castle. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them! With that damned oblivion gate blocking the way. This dude's swing is hypnotic. What will you do now? The only thing we can do. We'll try to hold our ground, that's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment. I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. This guy's very super serial about his job. Uh, I don't really want to ask that. Help. I will help you. You want to help? You're kidding, right? Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Dude, I'm the main character. Sure? I don't die, I just reload. Yes, let's do this. I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible, because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. You can see the marks on the ground where they were, with the great gate right in the middle. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. If you can get in there, find out what happened to them. If they're alive, help them finish the job. If not, see what you can do on your own. The best I can say is good luck. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. If I make it back alive, you surly son of a bitch. Okay, let's go. I, say, I said let's go. Go quicker, buddy. My god, he's actually kind of sprinting. Chucky, oh shit. He's a good shot, buddy. Anyway, yeah, I don't think fire does very well against the imps, and uh, there's a whole lot of freaking imps here, so maybe they're completely immune to it, I have no idea. It looked like that guy was holding an arrow, but he just got shot in the hand. That was freaking amazing. Come here, buddy. And boom, son. Yeah, suck on that. Okay, is that all of them? I think so. I could have sworn there was more here, but I guess not. What else is this guy doing? You not come with me? Really? Until you find a way to close that oblivion gate, there's nothing I can do but try to hold our position here as long as I can. Now I remember now he stays here. I could have sworn he came in with us, but maybe that's later or maybe that's a different guy. I have no freaking idea. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Next time, we go in there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate it. Like, and I'll see you next time for more Oblivion.